good morning. It's a beautiful spring day. We've had some really cold nights, um, preceded by some really hot days. But uh, today it's um, feels like it's probably about in the mid to upper 50s and just a gorgeous day. So I'm out working today in our market garden trying to get some tomato trees and peppers planted. So let's get started. We started all of our seedlings this year in the house and in our garage and seed trays like these. These uh, 1020 trays, we made soil blocks using vermiculite and peat moss to start them. So these are just the remaining trays that haven't, uh, haven't either germinated or sprouted yet. Um, but they were all in here. We had all of our tomato starts were, were in here as well after we got them started in the house, brought them out here. These are tomato trees. These were from a storm that flipped our greenhouse basically upside down and kind of tore it up. You can see some of our patchwork in here. And these have been in here for too long because, one, I don't know what they are because when the trays got flipped over, the plants got all mixed up. But the ones that we did know what they were have all been planted. We've gotten all of the ones planted out here. So we've had some horrible windstorms and insect pressure and way too much rain. So some of the plants are off to a troubled start in, in our soil. But the way we started the beds out here was to uh, till it with the with the uh, Yanmar tractor and the Titan tiller, and get the get the ground broken up. So I know generally it's not a good idea to till when it's wet, but when you have weeks on end or every week has rain and the soil just never dries out, sometimes you don't have a choice. So this area I have tilled up. I'll give you an idea of the condition of our soil here find a fairly dry spot <coughs> so we have clay and this has had some wood chips mixed into it over the years but uh, from different beds but you can see this stuff is just like concrete it's like rock when it dries extremely hard but we get underneath it once it's wet it does loosen up a little bit underneath you can see how it's a little bit looser and right down here show you how I'm planting each one of these tomatoes so they stayed in the greenhouse too long because of the weather and the rain and storms but basically what I'm doing is spacing these out about every three feet and then digging a hole to plant them in but you can see you see if I can set this up or and get an idea of what's happening there so about every three feet just digging a hole to plant the tomatoes. Almost use a post hole driver, a post hole digger to do this. So I'm getting down about 12 to 18 inches. See our tomatoes. Our seed starts just way too big for this. I'm pulling off the lower foliage. We'll end up trimming that off anyway. And then put it in and backfill it with the soil I dug out. And we'll come back. You may be able to see behind me, I'm not sure, some of the other ones. We come back and put our composted wood mulch around all of these to finish top dressing the beds. It's um, a second year compost of shredded trees. So we'll come back and put that around all these plants.
things in the in the mulch. Things that didn't get broken down very well, so I just pull the big stuff out. But a lot of this is absolutely beautiful mulch. It will be a good addition to help these plants to a good start. able to get this whole row planted with all those tomatoes of apple cart turnovers are planted and covered it with the mulch so one thing I realized while I was doing all of this is if I had a if I had done this one row at a time and brought the mulch out one row at a time I wouldn't have to carry it up and down all those rows so uh, next time I'll know do it one row at a time the other thing is <clears throat> I'm working on right now, I've got this area where our next row is going to go, but I've got this super low spot that just stays muddy. And so I'm going to fill this in with the uh, some of our composted mulch and see how that goes. Uh -huh.
next row, ready to plant and see once that gets turned over how muddy it is. So that's why we still just can't tell it with the, the Titan tiller on the BC, I mean on the uh, Yanmar, it's just too muddy. So, but the BCS does a good job of making the rows and once all the soil is in better condition, we'll use the rotary harrow to help mix in amendments and uh, compost. So there we go, BCS doing a great job.